And power outages are still an issue at this hour. The storm's front strong winds blew down power lines and left much of the city of Bemidji without electricity. Our team coverage continues with Jackson Bruner, who's live in the studio with the details. Jackson? Yeah, all right. Thanks, Dennis. Well, thousands of people are still waiting to get power back in their homes. And crews were hard at work all day trying to fix the problem as quickly as they could. Powerful winds left damage that simply couldn't be missed. On Bemidji's Lavinia Avenue, a power line's pole had split in half, leaving wires exposed in plain sight on the ground. Like lightning, and I heard like something like fall like over here. And then lightning is seen hit the floor and stuff. The Kuduks consider themselves lucky, but they're just a few of thousands in Beltrami County who are waiting for power to come back on. And authorities say it likely won't happen right away. There's going to be uh, power lines down uh, probably all the way through Thursday, and it's likely going to be into Friday, if not into the weekend, um, before all utilities are uh, able to be restored. Ottertail Power and Beltrami Electric are working to fix the widespread outages. All the way from you know, South Laporte area, Benedict, and uh, Cass Lake and then north of town as well. We have some up there um, in West Wilton, Wilton area too. We have to clear um, the damage out, trees off the lines, those kinds of things first. And once the, that's clear, then we can uh, rebuild poles and line and get the members back on. But utility problems don't end there, as Bemidji's nearly 15 sanitary sewer lift stations are powerless too. We're encouraging people to conserve water right now until we get the power back on and we can get those lift stations up and running. For now, power companies are preaching patience as workers clean things up. They've been working, you know, since middle of the night and uh, we need to pull them in and get them some rest so they can come back out. And, and work some more. And when it comes to public safety, locals are again reminded to stay clear of downed power lines while electricity continues to come back on. The latest numbers show just under 2,000 people in Beltrami County still out of power between Ottertail and Beltrami Electric. Ottertail's outage map still shows power out in the town of Wilton. All right, thank you very much, Jackson Bruner, with the live report for us tonight. Power companies ask that people continue reporting down power lines to electric providers when you first see them. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.